Hey, this is James again. Um, just showing you my latest idea I come up with. Um, it's a new version of the Newman motor. Um, I figured it was time for a little bit of a, an upgrade, I guess you could say. Um, my design I've come up with uh, uses four separate coils and uh, four separate magnets on a rotor that turns. Um, what my idea was, was to use, um, four separate, uh, power supplies, and to have these, uh, offset at an angle, a 45 degree angle, just to, just to help it move around just a little bit better. This design's a little bit different, um, whereas in it's more of a more normal motor shape uh, that's commonly used today. It uses a little bit of a different uh, commutator which I'm gonna make out of spark plugs and a flywheel with some uh, just some copper leads on it that would make contact. I'm probably gonna have to once I can get the wiring all figured out I think I'm gonna have to get about four of them put together kind of in a line along the back of the motor. But hopefully this design will just be a little bit better. What I figured is I would have um, two of the coils uh, pulsed uh, in the same polarity and um, I would have two coils uh, wired in the opposite polarity and I figured um, the two polarities would switch and they would just keep switching and that would um, drive the motor in a state uh, the stator in a circular motion hopefully this will be a little bit better of a design uh, you can get four I can get four coils on there I'm wanting to wanting to use 30 gauge wire and uh, use about a pound on each coil probably going to have to make most of this out of aluminum because I'm going to be using N52 magnets. Well, that's something I drew up in my little sketchbook in my spare time. Uh, hopefully, after I get this done, I'll move on to my next project. Um, what I want to do is I want to make a Stirling engine but I want to do it out of um, out of the little 12 volt uh, air compressors that uh, you can get at Harbor Freight for five dollars a piece. They got a nice little piston in them and a counterweight. All right, thanks for your time. Bye.